Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. So we're getting kind of ready to storm the Stoyanau Gate. The previous episode was kind of a grinding episode, and hopefully by the end of this playthrough, you guys will have experienced almost all of the bad guys. There were two bad guys that weren't really in our grinding recording session. There was the Three Cream, which is kind of a big bug monster. I'm showing video of that right now. Yeah, he's like a big bug warrior. He takes a lot of hit points. He has a very tough armor class. And he can do paralysis damage. So, not a very good situation. And remember, paralysis damage in this game is an automatic knockout. An automatic hit and an automatic knockout. And we also ran into the giant mantis. Uh, and again, Squeak Doo wasn't um, around when I did this um, off camera I recording. I feel like I've seen the mantis. I did not press record, you know, because, yeah, oh, we okay. were, yeah, sometimes, sometimes Squeak Doo is here chilling when I'm grinding, sometimes she isn't, but we're at a point now, not everyone is entirely leveled up, but we're leveled up to a point to where I think we can safely take on the Stoya Now Gate. One other thing, though, I wanted to show is turning down the television. And, um, I wanted to show the duel system. We didn't actually ever show the dueling mechanic in this game at the training hall here. So... Do you know the rules of dueling? We do not know the rules of dueling. A duel is fought between evenly matched heroes. When you knock your opponent to zero HP, you win. We try not to harm opponents, but sometimes accidents do happen. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you really want to fight a duel? Yes, we do. So, I've been doing a lot of dueling. Mostly with Nightshade and Craven, because really, those are the characters who need some grinding here. And you you have Nightshade, you have her cast Stink Cloud. And uh-oh, he's not held. Nightshade is a little bit screwed at the moment. And hopefully this one can go ahead and um, hold him, and he's held. And so we go, we went ahead and we won the duel here. So that's basically how the dueling mechanic works. Um, but it only gave us 700 hit points. And remember... Experience points. what I say? Hit points. Hit points. Oh you my god. I wish you had 700 yeah, yeah, hit points. Yeah, yeah, 700 hit points in this game. That is unheard of, man. But, um... So, only 700 experience points, but Nightshade is a multi-class character. So, she has to divide this among her three classes. And she needs to level up in Fighter and Thief. She's maxed out as a magic user. So, that's pretty much how it is with the dueling mechanic there. And we are going to go ahead and leave, and we're ready to pretty much take on the gate, I think. Let's run by City Hall and see if the council clerk has any recommendations for us. Yeah, I just felt like I had to show the duel thing, you know? Let me check whether we owe you a reward. You have done nothing special. We were grinding. We fought three creams. <laughs> now I'll give you your commission. I have no missions for you now. It's getting real, guys. Alright, she doesn't have any missions for us, so she wants us to take back that gate. Boarding fee is five gold pieces. Alrighty. righty. 
guys! Do you have to pay five more gold pieces? Yeah, I mean, like... It's not his it's, fault. It, it, it's an idiot fee. You can just tell he's laughing so hard right now. <laughs> okay, there's a boat to Flan. We will stay. It's the top option, man. Come on. Okay, we are to the west of Flan. We are going to take the north gate to get us to Podo Plaza. It's almost nighttime. Not a big problem if it's almost nighttime. I. Our neighbors have been acting crazy, guys. So they've well, been the weather's going off. been yeah. nice. Oh, yeah, the weather in the Queen City has been absolutely gorgeous. We just had Easter. We did have Easter, yes. Did you guys have a good Easter Beagle Pups? We had a we had a good time with Easter. It was Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some spells going on here. Um Now is this where you um destroyed everyone for practicing their faith? Yes, yes, which makes me sound like a monster, but yes. Oh my gosh, it sounded like someone just banged on the window, but we're on the second floor, so... Yeah, our neighbors. You guys might be hearing some neighbor stuff, or... You know, I always say that. It's, like, really loud for me, but, like, um... I feel like that happens a lot when I'm watching YouTube videos. Like, the person is like, oh, my neighbors are so loud. Um, and, and, like, you can barely hear like, them. Like, okay. I was listening to this podcast one time, and, um... The, like the girl hosting it um, her neighbors were doing like construction work and you could actually hear it and she gets up in the middle of podcasting and she yells out the window at them and you could hear the whole thing oh my gosh I mean <laughs> and that's also the thing like you know people got to do their jobs too you know like yeah yeah of course my neighbors are just being you know crazy well right now. you know I think like we're more inside people, and we're, they're outside. You know, people. we're 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 introvert, we're introverts, introverts. Yeah. Um, yeah, I took one of them uh, Myers Briggs uh, type indicators, and it actually said I was an extrovert. But I can see that. Yeah, but that was like my lowest um, score. Like everything else, uh, the other things on the um, Myers Briggs, I was an intuitive a feeler, and a perceiver. So basically, you know, not very logic-driven. And yeah, I mean, I make some decisions that are like, huh, that's an interesting route to take, sir. Um, protect missiles. Who needs protection from missiles? Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit with status upgrade, with status attacks. I'm not... the. They work kind of okay. They worked really well for Rose against the lizard dude, Drithi. But, um... You know, in, in general, when I play RPGs, I tend not to do much with status stuff. Yeah, like, I mean... Like... No, I'd rather just attack and heal. Yeah, like... But there probably are some times when it's best to use status stuff. Yeah, no. Oh, she should actually know and enlarge as well. Um... Steam Cloud is uh, immensely valuable. Haste, um, yeah, we'll learn some haste. Uh, Rose definitely needs it. Um... And um, I think Craven should be okay with everything he knows. What does he knows? Fireball and lightning bolt. Yeah, we can bark at that. Craven, you know everything that you can know. Okay. And we cleared out Podo Plaza, so we don't have to worry about getting interrupted now. All right. Um, protect evil. Protect us from evil enemies. Um, Rose and Splinter, go ahead and protect yourselves there. 
Um, enlarge. Rose, I'm gonna go ahead and get enlarged. Splinter, get enlarged. Do they actually become bigger? Uh, no. <laughs> and Nightshade, go ahead and get enlarged. Um, and let's get some meditation in here. And then Pumpkin, go ahead. Yeah, she knows to spell magic. Steam Cloud, protect from missiles. We'll have Splinter. Splinter needs a lot of help, guys, because Splinter is maxed out, but look at his hit points. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like it's... Yeah, we don't have much hope for Splinter really living too much. In... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Um... Uh, Craven is the other one that needs to be enlarged. Ha! <laughs> enlarge. <laughs> haste. Um, a Craven is hasten. Oh, it hastens everyone! Oh my gosh, yes! So how old are they now? I don't honestly know. Um... We'll, um, check once we memorize our spells again. The spells we're actually going to use for, um, uh, taking back the gate here. Um, sleep at this point isn't really going to do much of anything, so we're going to use a lot of magic missiles. We're going to be on the offensive now. We goosed ourselves up with these status spells, so we are ready for a nice offensive on Stoyanow Gate here. Uh, she needs a magic missile, she needs her fireballs, and Craven, I think you actually have everything you need. Actually, no, Craven, you still know a lot of sleep. We need to get you to know magic missile. But don't you want to make the enemies go to sleep? It won't, it really won't work on these enemies. Um. They're so much tough and scary. Okay, we are resting. Okay, so Rose is now 20 years old. And wow. guys, and guys look at her Thacko, 9. That is that is really good. That is going to be immensely helpful. Splinter, a nice sum of 51. Uh, Pumpkin, I guess we aged a, used a haste spell on Splinter uh, before there, but um, yeah, 182, they're 182 now. And in the previous video, they were um, 180. So if you right. use too many haste spells, will um, Rose start to get wrinkles? Not, not like this. Yeah, not like, not like this in the way of, um, the character portrait changing. Guys, I feel like I'm not making any sense tonight, I don't know, <laughs> but, um, a wagon loaded down with odds and ends is heading to the north. What do we do? Well, let's go ahead and advance. Both parties advance. Let's parley. Will you sell the wagon? Uh, sure, if you pay 250 gold pieces. Sure. Yeah. It's all yours now. Use it in good health. Be careful of the bugbear guards. They're angry because they got stuck on guard duty. When you meet them, it's better to bribe them and don't offend them. What do we do with the wagon? Uh, the wagon kind of tells the bugbear guards that we're supposed to be here. Uh -huh. That we're bringing in supplies. You see, Stoya now gate in front of you. It's the entrance to Valievo Castle. Bugbears are patrolling the outside gates. Okay. And yes, guys, you can, like, when you start the game, you can um, go ahead and go to this area. Now pay me 15 gold pieces. We will um, go ahead and uh, give him the bribe there. The bugbear accepts the money and waves the gate open. So wait, they think that we're the DoorDash. 
Yep. And they're making us pay to come in and deliver the food. That's called corruption. It's pretty messed up. Okay. The towers. You see stairs going up. Let's go. This is the guard's barracks. Do we still have the wagon? Bunks line the walls. Um... I don't know, actually. Knowing Rose, she probably just ditched it. Like, ah, I don't need this no more. Or she picked it up and carried it up the stairs with both hands. <laughs> yeah, that's a Rose thing to do. What big beds? I wonder who sleeps here. Oh, we're gonna find out. There are two humans and three Etienne's. Magic user. I wish Flan would be conquered quickly. Yeah, then both of us will become lords. I think in the PC version they say barons, but, I mean, same diff. The guards are talking and don't notice you. Both parties advance. Guys, this is the only point in the game you will see the image of the Etzines. Huh. We'll go ahead and parley. They seem aware of you. And battle begins! Alright, Rose. Um, hopefully this, um... Okay, good, good. Alrighty, oh no, that would hit Splinter. And that would not hit Splinter. 11 points of damage, 22 points of damage, uh, me likey. Good. Y'all should not attack. That's what y'all like to do. Let's see. Do we want to do a lightning bolt? of damage. Better, better. Yes! Nope, that would not be a good move. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Alrighty, Rose, go ahead and do them in. What, where are you going, buddy? It's buddies. Buddies, yep. <laughs> Ooh. Guys, I don't know what kind of range a magic missile has. Yes. What up, bra? There we go. Yeah. Ring. Um. <sighs> I almost feel like pumpkin and nightshade. They at least need to be in the negatives, but. And Splinter did fine, I mean. The alarm begins to ring. Oh, no! Oh! Yeah, I mean, we kind of saw that coming. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. Oh, did that change her thaco? No, it didn't. Okay, cool. So, now we just need Nightshade to get something to get her armor class below zero. Alrighty, let's search these barracks, shall we? The alarm is ringing. The alarm is ringing. Yeah. I don't think they hit us in that battle. Okay, there's nothing else here. You see stairs going down. 
the guards rush at you from the towers on the other side. Uh-oh. Good. Yeah, move stupidly, guys. Um, let's see. Well, you would like a magic missile, Mr. Aids. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Yeah. I mean, you, had, you guys had to have figured at some point the enemy AI magic users would have were going to do something useful, right? Yep. I can bark it back. And I like how Magic Missile is like an instant cast. Like how you don't have to wait a turn. Because missiles are fast. Missiles are fast, aren't they? 27 points of damage! Hells yeah! That's my lucky number! Yes, um, as you guys know, Squeak Dude was born on September 27th, the 19th round now. <laughs> and, um... For a minute there, I'm like, damn, are you gonna out my age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> But yeah, the long story short, both Squeak Doo and I very vividly remember the 90s. Yes. I have some memories of the 80s, but it's mostly like kid stuff from the 80s. Right. I remember one month of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So long story short, guys, we're old. Anyone who actually knows how to work an NES, you know? They're freaking out! They are! Uh, is Rose in that line of fire? Here she isn't. Yes! Yeah, those are some big numbers they're hitting at Rose, but, um... Well... Nightshade, you have a composite bow. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, we good. Alright, Nightshade, if you would be so kind. You have beaten the Eds and Guards. Now if you clear the patrols outside, you can recover Stoyanow Gate. <sighs> Uh, I, it is nice, but I feel like we also, um, like, I feel like we're, we don't really have a lot in the way of magic at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, can we rest in these barracks here? Guys, I'm going to play a risky thing here. Oh, and either way, uh, Rose needs to critically be healed. Oh, and so does Craven. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it's frustrating that Cure Light Wounds is the only healing spell in the entire game. Yeah, never mind that one hit point there. Okay, we're gonna save, and now we're gonna try to memorize again.
Do, 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 do. This is a nice song, isn't it? Yeah, it's not really what you would think it would sound like. Like for like the big um, castle uh, leading to the final boss. I feel like it should either sound heroic or imposing. Yeah, this has like a woo feel to it. Yeah, we'll give you another fireball. Oh, cool, we weren't interrupted. Nice. Alright. And the bugbears are probably thinking, I think those guys were, um, uh, sleeping. The bugbears ambush us? Not likely. Bugbear hugs. Bugbear hugs. Guys, it's been a while since we've had a bugbear hug. Now, fireballs should be able to really do bugbears in. Like, at this juncture in the game, you should be pretty well equipped for bugbears. Ooh, there's a lot of them, though, ain't there? And they're freaking out. They are. Yeah, like 26 points of damage, that's going to kill them. Probably the 13 one will as well. In case you guys haven't noticed with Fireball, like, it'll be two numbers. One is double the other number. Oh. Is that like an actual thing or just a coincidence? That's, um, that is a D&D mechanic for the fireball spell, yeah. That should get all of them. And Bugbear is slain. And... Oh, little Bugbear! He's a tough boy. He is a very, very slain boy. Alrighty. And uh, that's how you take care of bugbears, guys. 2,000 experience points, I can bark at that. You have cleared Stoyanow Gate. The city guards of Flan who wait outside, of course they do, like they couldn't come and be bothered helping us. Yeah. Come in quickly to secure the area. So brave. Well, now that the work is done, we'll go ahead and uh, take it from here. Thank so you, So there's Rose. no more bad guys in here? Not in the gate area. And we are going to run back to Flan and get a reward. So you could rest in the gate area if need be. We can rest in the gate area, which is kind of advisable. Now, if we set the alarm off in the castle, we will have to leave the gate area to um, reset the alarm. So, like, it's kind of like in modern games how you get to a save point. Mm hmm But, like, with this game, it almost makes you earn the save point. Oh, yeah, it is kind of like that. I mean, that. I guess technically you can save anywhere, but you can't, like, you know, heal and save anywhere. Right. It, it wouldn't be a very safe save. Yeah. You enter City Hall. The corridor runs south, and the door beyond is watched by the guard. You open the east door, and there's the city council clerk. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. I believe you do. Now we get the chance to attack the enemy because of what you did at Stoyanow Gate. Take your reward. Oh, me likey. So we all know what the history of Flan books are going to say. The city guards rushed it. Well, no, they said in the flyer that legends will be written about these heroes. Legends and history are not the same thing. Hmm. Woo wee. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll give you your commission. The special council wants you. Go right now. The guard will guide you there. Now let's go. Are we going to get killed? Oh, we're going to meet someone. Will there be cake? 
Lord High Mayor Ulrich Eberhard appears and says, Now our battle draws to an end. Go to Valievo Castle. I'm sure that you will save Flan. The Japanese text uh, translates a little more literally to, Surely you will save the town of Flan, but it's the same thing. I'll escort you to the exit. Kind of like our translation better, actually. Yeah? Yeah, like our translation makes it sound like he has confidence in us. The, the other one is just like, oh, of course you'll do that. Of course you'll do that. Your honor is at stake. Let's see if we can train. Um, Nightshade, you need... Oh, man. But yeah, like, you know those history books are going to talk about the brave soldiers of land who stormed, <laughs> stormed the, gate, the gate, and the courageous mayor who ordered the operation against all obstacles. <laughs> See, you yeah, know. And it's like, but what, and nothing about the five goth misfit heroes. Yep. Because legends and history are not the same thing. Uh, ain't that the truth. Oh, wow, none of them can level up, so... Alrighty, guys, we took back Stoyanow Gate. We met Lord High Mayor Ulrich Eberhard. We're ready to approach Falievo Castle. He didn't even give us cake. He didn't even give us cake. What? What is this? What kind of mayor doesn't give their constituents cakes? Mayors, if you're watching this, a l I, I, is a mayor of, like, a small town a lizard person? Hmm. I wonder. And I guess it depends on how far how, up the ranks they go. How far up the ranks they go. Like, I mean, Pete Buttigieg, mayor of South Bend, Indiana, he um, ran for president on the Democrat ticket. So I think if you're able to run for president, you got to have at least a little bit of lizard in you. I don't think Bernie's a lizard. No, they're all lizards, yeah. I'm, no, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure Bernie's not. I'm pretty sure Bernie is of a lizard. Of course, we all know yeah. that they're not actually yeah, lizards. And, uh, of, of course, like, Mitt Romney, total lizard. Um, and let's see, uh, who's that, who's that one Republican mayor of that one city? Oh, I'm blanking on the city. You, you guys know that Republican Are you thinking about there. Chris Christie? Oh, okay, yeah. He, he was the former... Halloween. Yeah, he was the former governor of New Jersey. He wasn't a mayor. Yeah, um... Yeah, he, governor's bigger than mayor. Governor is bigger than mayor. Yeah, the Chris Christie, definite lizard. Definite lizard, so... Yeah, you guys thought, oh, oh wow, they're not going to talk about politics. They're they're going to, you know. But anyway, lizard mayors or non-lizard mayors, give your constituents cakes, but also like don't tax the don't like tax your constituents for it. Like come up with a creative way to administer how, how cake. How will they afford the cake without taxes? That's where your creativity comes in. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfes. And we are going to catch you next time when we head on up to Valievo Castle. Oh, did I tell you to like, comment, and subscribe that y'all are the best uh, YouTubers, uh, YouTube fans in the world? They might be the best YouTubers, too. They might have their own you, channels. I, I do I do some subs for a sub for some of you guys. I really enjoy a lot of the content that I watch there. I love me some YouTube, man. It's good to have good friends on this platform. Anyway, guys, you know you're the best. We love you. Show your love to Beagle Rampant. We're heading to Valievo Castle. Bye! Bye.